Let's get into this. Contortionist. Clairvoyant. By now I have heard two Contortionist albums. I heard Language, which I love, and Exoplanet, which I didn't love as much as Language. I've listened to it a few times since then, and I still kind of largely feel the same way. There's a few m m melodies here and there, there's a few songs that I really, really like and I think are really cool, but overall, not one of my favorites. Language, however, I would definitely put up there as like top five prog albums of all time. Not sure where it would land, but it's definitely up there. Clairvoyant, however, I've heard, is a mix of Language and Exoplanet. This is their most current album. And then I've heard, I think, unless I'm incorrect somehow, I've heard that they're coming out with new music this year. So that should be fun to see what direction they're going in since it has been like six, seven years since their last full album. Let me get into this. Really weird. It's almost, almost soothing. I feel calm. We're in a little five, four here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe we switched. I could fall asleep to this. Woo! Good melodic choices. Okay, we are melodically all over the place. I love that synthy bass. Gorgeous intro track. I'm 100% on board. I can hear the language. Good melodic choices. Beautiful vibey section. That chord. That chord makes it so interesting. I love contortionist chords. I almost made a pun, I almost said chord torsionist. If you watched my altered state video, something I talked about in there is I am much more leaning towards the structured song pop side of music lately. And that's more of what I've been craving. And I've been craving less of the prog kind of side of music. And I mentioned in there that it's not going to ruin listening to prog albums for me. It's just that I, lately in my free time, prefer listening to more pop stuff. And I guess by pop stuff, I mean pop structured stuff. So Vola, Sleep Token, things in that vein. Bass. This feels more structured. That had one of my favorite chord progressions, which I mentioned in a previous video at some point, but I also mentioned in my Altered State video. Like I'm in a minor key, a one to a six. I love that. Seven and a half minutes of title track. This feels a little more chaotic, just a little. Slightly more into exoplanet territory. This is harmonically wild. With a little triplet kicks, that's cool. This is rhythmically really cool. I love that little hemiola pattern. Which, if you don't know, is like three and four being played together. Okay, I tried to headbang to a steady beat, and it's not working, so I'm doing this. Uh, 
harmony, the vocal harmonies on the fall. I'm gonna follow that symbol. Follow the symbol, just follow the symbol. Overall, I gotta say, I'm really liking this. I know I said I was kind of burnt out with prog and whatever, and that kind of stuff, and I prefer more poppy stuff, but this has just enough of a little bit of a kind of structure to it, mostly, that it stays interesting, and I can kind of latch on to some little bits, like the last song that had almost a verse and chorus section, and it's got some really cool jazzy chords and everything in here, which I loved about language. Just enough of these little things that I really like to be interesting. I definitely like this more than Exoplanet so far. Great chords. There's some good harmonic choices in this song. I love this. This might be my favorite song so far. This is that same song structure that has a part and it keeps building on it and it just keeps going. It's, it's that minimalist style. I really like this song. Getting chills from the atmosphere. It's so good. Scary space atmosphere. I'm unsettled, but I'm intrigued. Okay, this part feels like if Danny Elfman was writing the soundtrack to a space movie. I can't quite explain it, but if you know, you know. More jazzy chords, good. I love that chord. This one too, this one is more structured. It's got a verse chorus feel to it. Ooh, little, little twinkly wind chimes. Yeah, songs like this and what's the other song that started with an R? Reimagine. I think these are really good ones to come back to. Piano! This sounds like something off the Tron Legacy soundtrack. Key change out of nowhere! Back to this part. I love that key change. That's so interesting. Let me know generally what the story of this album is. Because I have no idea. It's almost a game trying to figure out where to headbang. I think that because of the mindset that I'm in, like I explained where I'm craving more of the non proggy stuff, I think that a lot of the melodic things that happen in this album are kind of just going in one ear and out the other. Like none of it feels very memorable. Language had some memorable stuff on there. And this, while better than Exoplanet, it still doesn't feel up to the the heights that language reached. And I don't know. I know I know songs don't always have to have a specific melodic core that they keep coming back to and they rely on throughout the song. But something about these melodies just feels off to me. I don't hate it though. I just think I'm not in the mindset currently to fully appreciate it. And it might be something that I grow to love over time. This part's gorgeous. Oh. Never mind. The drumming is great. I don't think I complimented the drumming on this album yet. Bass. I like this section. This darker sounding section. Like the way these chords do like a lot of half steps like Wait for it. Right there. That chord specifically. A little dark turn. Last track, nine and a half minutes. Ooh. Ooh, another darker chord. Nice.
Good build, good build. I'm still really not sure about it. There's some good stuff quarterly, but I just, I think the melody, for me at least, isn't as memorable. I have some thoughts. Now, if you don't know, if you haven't heard me mention it before, um, I'm kind of moving away from ranking whole albums because I kind of feel that it's hard to judge something like that and put a number to it, for me at least, and it all kind of feels superficial because you might have an album that's really good, but there's a couple songs that might bring it down, or an album that kind of sucks, but it's got one or two absolute bangers on it. And, you know, sometimes you have that sort of mix. It's not always the case that every single song on an album always hits every single song doesn't hit so that's why just like a an overview of why i'm not gonna give this a number score i'm still gonna talk about what i like and dislike because that stuff is much more indicative of you know the album as a whole where you can talk about things that you like as a whole instead of giving it an arbitrary number like i said this is a weird one because i heard the other two albums that everyone freaks out about language and exoplanet and i really really loved language i still do i not loved as in past tense but i lo loved it when i first heard it i loved it from first listen i loved it and i have loved it since i've listened to it maybe six seven more times since then and i love it exoplanet i didn't really like i kind of actively disliked it a little bit and then i kind of over time got a little bit more used to the chaos it was bringing to the table and I don't dislike it as much now I wouldn't go so far as to say I actually like it but it's it's tolerable it's a decent album I can put it on and not be angry this I don't know this one is weird because I didn't really feel one way or the other and I don't know how to take that but I felt like it was the weirdest qualities of both. I'm sorry if I disappoint people who expected me and really wanted me to love this album. I forgot who said it. Maybe it was just one of my college professors. But somebody said, good music makes you feel something. And I didn't really feel anything listening to this. There were parts where I thought it was a cool melodic transition or a cool rhythm or something, but I didn't feel anything emotionally. I was more so just analyzing it from a zoomed out music theory perspective and trying to kind of dig into that. And even that I got bored of a little bit. 